Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Mexico, and today I want to talk to you about vitamin D. What is the main idea behind somebody taking a vitamin D supplement? Okay, so most of us are aware that you know getting a few minutes of sunlight per day helps to boost the body's vitamin D levels. But do you know exactly why we need vitamin D? In did you know that about 200 million Americans are deficient in this crucial vitamin? So perhaps it's because it's been ingrained in our brains that we should all be avoiding sunlight in order to prevent the onset of you know, diseases such as uh, skin cancer or you know, premature aging of the skin. But a vitamin D deficiency is causing a lot more than just you know, the normal fatigue, aches, and joint pains that you hear people talk about. It's actually contributing to some serious illnesses. Things such as, you know, lower back pain, epilepsy, several different types of cancers have been shown in people with low vitamin Ds, uh, osteoporosis, d diabetes type 1 and type 2, cardiovascular disease, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, hypertension or high blood pressure, syndrome X, depression, and more. So you, if, if you follow any of my videos at all, or if you watch any of my stuff or read any, read any of my books, you'll often hear me say that vitamin D is the most important supplement that anyone can take. This is because even if you eat a perfectly anti-inflammatory diet, you cannot get enough vitamin D from your diet alone. You need sun exposure to your skin in order to create vitamin D. So, and for many of us that live in areas where, you know, sun is short supply, you don't get it. Listen, remember, I'm never asking you to take any of my word for any of this. I'm just a messenger. If you do another quick pubmed.gov search, you will find a whopping 71,000 studies just devoted to vitamin D. Now, that's a, that is a mind boggling amount of research. In fact, if somebody we were to decide to read one paper per day, it would take them 196 years to get through all of this research. So some people, some professionals actually dev devote their entire career to studying just vitamin D. One such professional is Dr. Michael Hollick. So according to Dr. Hollick, who is a PhD MD at Boston University, the body needs a certain amount of unprotected exposure to the sun's rays to be sure that we are getting adequate amounts of vitamin D and that people should consider supplementing with vitamin D, especially during colder months. So he's down the street in Boston where, where I am and it's, listen, vitamin D is in short supply during the winter and, and, and fall time. Um, so supplementing vitamin D during that time can be, can be very important. So another respected expert in the field of vitamin D research is Dr. Reinhold Vaith, Vaith with a V. He's a professor at the University of, Tonto, uh, at University of Toronto. Um, he is one of many medical professionals who were a part of a conference that was actually titled Vitamin D Deficiency Crisis in North America. So Dr. Vaith has been studying how vitamin D affects human health for over 30 years. So Dr. Vaith, he firmly believes that we'll, there will be a dramatic jump in the incidence of many diseases, specifically as a result of just deficiency in vitamin D, something that can be eliminated with sunlight and, and an easy supplement. He performed research study where he supplemented people with 4,000 IUs of vitamin D, vitamin D per day for six months. This amount of vitamin D supplementation with vitamin D3 resulted in associated decrease in depression and increased feeling of well-being. Dr. Vaith suggests that 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3 per day should be considered the upper level limits of vitamin D. And studies have shown that when vitamin D supplement at 10,000 IUs were, were used for multiple months, that blood levels reached only 56 nanograms per milliliter or even lower. Now, now keep in mind that normal vitamin D range is between 32 and 100 nanograms per milliliter. So on, on a personal note, I take 5,000 IUs of vitamin D all spring and all summer, and then I up it to 10,000 IUs in the fall and winter. 
Now, this amount of vitamin D resulted in my most recent blood test as being only a 59. So well within the range of 32 to 100, and honestly, I'd like to get it a little bit higher. Um, so the goal is to have it greater than 50, but not more than 100 nanograms per milliliter. So to be sure you are getting the best quality vitamin D supplement in the correct dosage, check out the link provided to order my pharmaceutically made vitamin D3. So very, very important, especially with vitamin D, as it is important with all supplements, be sure to talk to your doctor before taking anything. You shouldn't just start taking uh, any supplement, vitamin D or any other supplement for that matter, without discussing it with your doctor. So thank you for watching this video. And as always, please comment in the section below where you're watching from so I know how broad our reach is and so that we can get a broader reach. I, I love seeing where people are, are, are watching from. Also, if you like the information that I presented, please give it a share. And now you know the main idea behind taking a vitamin D supplement. This is again, Dr. Mexico, make it a great day.